But, um, so, so yeah, I, I want people to know that I'm the guy who was accused of the initial breach at the U.S. Capitol, and I'm the guy that is alleged to be in a picture with Ray Epps when he speaks into my ear. And when certain things had reached the media, the, I was put, uh, when I was in Warsaw, Virginia, uh, there were some things that I, because I, I don't have access, I know that the COs came and said, I have to go to the hole. And I said, why? They said the government called the jail up and said, you have to be put in solitary confinement because something was written in a newspaper about you. So I went down to speak to my lawyer. And when I spoke to my lawyer, he, he explained to me that there was things in a newspaper. Well, while in the meeting with my lawyer, as soon as it went off, the, C, the, the COs, uh, handcuffed me and they they assaulted me. I was then uh, denied medical. When the CO did a second round, she realized I was passed out and my my face was broken in two different places. They sent me to Tappahannock, but before that, they tried to cover it up and say it was a drug overdose and they put Narcan up my nose and said that I overdosed on drugs. And ever since then, I was getting threatening phone or threatening letters and on the letters it has my family's name and a return address but on the name it says um like like we're, we're stamped yeah it's from Flor it's from florida so i reported this to the fbi field office and when i reported it uh they shipped me to philadelphia and what philadelphia fbi field office did is they they investigated me for they said that i threatened fbi but then they never indicted me on the charges it's real back. That's why they held me in solitary confinement so long. Ever since then, I I have referrals. To, I went to Jefferson Hospital uh, for medical treatment. Uh, excuse me one second. Uh, sorry, this guy's uh, obnoxious. His name's Sam. Okay. Uh, man, some of these guys. I'm sorry, Jim. They, no, they, no they, problem. They hawk they they around me. Um, but they, uh, it, so they, what they did was they, um, they keep denying me medical treatment. And he, 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 like I, I have, a, I was supposed to get surgery. I was supposed to see a myofascial doctor. I was supposed to get rehab. I have blood clots from being zip tied. And then I was put in a restraint chair when I was in Virginia uh, over that uh, article. And I gained a blood clot in my right leg. And I'm not getting no no medical, and we keep asking for a bond just so I can get surgery from it because the independent doctor said I do need surgeries uh, on the judge's request, and the judge still is denying me bond. This call is from a federal prison. Just to get the surgeries, uh, Jim, I would turn turn myself turn myself yeah. in, and and I and I want to add that the Patriot Freedom Project. If any listeners, please stop donating to that project. None of us, Dominic Pizzolo. Thomas Bauer and, and Ryan, myself, Ryan Samsel, have been asking for for money, and she has given us zero. She I, she's even told uh, my wife if we contact her again and ask her for any help that she would report us to the FBI. And I I have these text messages as well, and uh, I, I I I haven't gotten anything. Wow. Zero. Wow. That's that's and, shocking. Uh, yeah, and, and and she's opened and, up these Trump rallies. And, 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 yeah. And I'm not. And, and people need to know the truth. And, you know, all, all I do is try to encourage mm -hmm. these guys to stay strong. And like I said, I, I got all the January 6th guys sitting here right here. And I'll, and I'll tell right. you. Hey, Cliff, uh, have a, hey, hey tell, right? tell me something real quick, Ryan. And that yeah, was, uh, sure. you, you mentioned something about uh, Ray Epps and you don't want to say that over the phone. What was that again? Yeah, I don't want to speak too much over a, re over a record of phone about that, that day with him. Uh -huh. um, because uh, I, I really... I am in fear of my life, Jim. I've, I was assaulted uh, at three three different occasions, and all three occasions I had to be uh, taken to the hospital when his right. name or anything was brought up. And um, I, I, sure. I was in D DC jail the very first time, and I, I didn't know exactly what, what the assault was pertaining. Yeah. But that morning, Dominic Pizzolo had asked the uh, CO why I was assaulted, and Dominic, what did they tell you? Here, come here to the phone. Uh, this is Dominic. He'll, he'll tell you okay. exactly what. Here. That uh, basically orders from the FBI all the treatment we were getting. So, okay, Dominic. 
right. Can you tell your last name too? Tell everybody your last name. Pizzola. P E Z Z O L A. Got it. Dominic Pizzola. Right. Hey, hey. Yeah, um, I was I, I was I was the first one to see Ryan after they beat him. They they beat him good. I mean, his eyes were swollen shut and black and blue and everything. It was, it was uh, bad. So. Oh my God, that's awful. Yeah. And yep. then, and then they didn't give him treatment, or they did? No. I. I well, let me put him back on the phone. He can probably tell you better. Okay. What's up, Jim? Hey, hey. Um, yeah, I was just gonna say, did they give you a treatment after you got? They found you beat up. Dominic found you. No, so they they took me to the hospital, and Howard University Hospital found I had a blood clot in my left shoulder, and I had a, a broken face, I had a broken nose, a ruptured kidney, and they 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 ordered that I get further treatment, and they never gave me that. Oh so then God. I went to a vas I, I went to a vascular surgeon after assault in Virginia, and she said she recommends I go to physical rehab. And the prosecutor, who which name is Karen Rockland, she denied me that. And then when I went to Warsaw, that's where I got the the worst beating. They broke the right side of my face, and I have a blood clot in my right head. And they left me in a chair uh, for about ten to twelve hours. Like, and, like and tied to a chair, or what? Yeah, it's called a restraint chair. They tie in the chair oh. and for twelve hours. Eight months. Yeah, for twelve hours, and I end up getting a blood clot in my right leg. And I asked because I know what the blood clots feel like. And when I asked, they said no. And then they tried to cover it up, and they forced me to take um, this squirt. They squirt this stuff up my nostril and said that uh, I overdosed on drugs. And then when they test me for drugs, I obviously came up negative. So uh, it was they, they tried oh to, to cover up. But when I went to the hospital. The doctor at the hospital was the same doctor at the jail. It's the same doctor. And he even, he had to mark that it was an assault and they took pictures. And, um, they, they, from there, they transferred me out and then they, the, the judge gave me a bond to temporary. This call is from a federal prison. I went to Pennsylvania and then what Pennsylvania shipped me back when I got Judge Cobb, she shipped me back. She, she does not want me on the street and we keep putting him for a bond. And I would, uh, I would only ask that it would be temporary for medical, but she, she doesn't want it. And, uh, like I said, I, I've gotten a lot of threatening letters. Uh, and I, I do believe in my heart that the FBI is writing these letters because how else would they know my family's personal information? I mean, a family and friends that nobody would know that I know, and it's always the return address. And I, like I said, I took their letters and I mailed them back to the FBI office and asked if they can investigate. And then when I when I did that, um, immediately I made the New York Times for being investigated for more more threats. They said that I was the one threatening. So when I seen wow. DHO, which is an in house like uh, judge, he listened to the phone tapes and said there's no threats here. This is this is bull crap. And he released it, but basically, I, I think it was a way for them to tell me to keep my mouth shut because I was in the hole for five months. And oh my uh, God. I just don't know what to do, Jim. I, I want people to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Darren, Darren Beatty keeps saying that the guys who did the initial breach, and he says that none of us were indicted. I want people to know that I, my name is Ryan Samsel, and, and I was at that front, and I, I, I am indicted. I am charged. Uh, I want people to know that. I'm not working with the FBI. I am charged, and I've been assaulted multiple times. And even the former president, Mr. Trump, I, found I lost the sight in my right eye due to the, the, the brain damage from the first assault. And oh I'm God. not getting any medical treatment at all. And then you also have some uh, some lumps in your chest, right, that you're concerned about? Yeah. Yeah, so I went to Jefferson Hospital. They sent me to an oncologist, breast cancer doctor, and she says it's gynecomastia mixed with lymph nodes. And she ordered that I get them um, a, a call to glancectomy. And I was scheduled to get this before I went to jail. And when I've seen the, the doctor at Jefferson Hospital, uh, her name is Dr. Melissa Lazar. Uh, when they sent me back to the, the jail, the jail said they couldn't get blood from my arm because the veins are so scarred up from the clot. So they, re they said that I refused uh, to get blood. But I didn't refuse to get blood. It's, I, I don't have any veins left in my arm to do so and because of all the clots. So they just they, they 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 canceled my surgery on me. Oh my god, uh, that's inhumane. I, I mean, I, I I could take. I, I need any help that I can get. And, and uh -huh. I said, like I, I I keep writing Cynthia Hughes, and I keep begging her for help. And 
I said she she's already threatened the FBI on me and and my wife. So I I, I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay, maybe maybe have your wife contact me if you if you want. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. I will. I def- yes, sir. Yeah, I yeah. Will. Do, 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 so either, much, do either of the other guys want to say something? Yeah, you guys want to say something, Cliff? Dominic? He said, he'll call Dominic will also call you. And okay. uh, Tom, Thomas, Bauer, Thomas Bauer said, he'll call you. Okay. Well, God yep. bless you Thank guys. You. All right? Yep. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Jim. Okay. Hang in there. Bye. Yep. Bye. Okay. Bye.